Fins, goggles, touchdown. These swimmers tackle, pass, and play football, all while holding their breath. As rough as this looks, it doesn't hurt. Water means no pain, even when you're getting tackled. Keith Peters can barely walk on his left foot because of an injury he had in his 20s. He thought that his sports career was over, but he's a superstar underwater. In the past, I used to be a basketball player, a very good basketball player, but then had to stop playing almost all sports because I couldn't wait there. I think the sport actually helps because what happens is you're stretching out your foot and you're pulling on your foot like no other way that you would ever in normal life because your fins are always kicking. And when that happens, uh, it, it seems to help. Keith's 13-year-old daughter keeps up with the squad. Most sports, when a guy goes against a girl, it's really unfair. But because we're in the water, there's a huge difference. So that, I don't know, a 20-year-old, really strong, fit guy can go against somebody, like a pathetic little girl like me and I can still kick his butt. So water's turned out to be a great alternative for sports players, but it doesn't just help athletes. These massive tanks are called pods. Clients pay to float inside for 30, 60, or 90 minute sessions. They deprive floaters of all senses, relaxing them to the point of pain relief. So when you, when you go in here and you have absolutely no pressure points, no stimulus coming in, your brain is actually able to reset and recalibrate back to your homeostasis so that cortisol level goes down, your anxiety disappears, um, your stress level just like... Along with pain relief, studies show that floating reduces stress and helps people focus. Josh Gosen, RRC-TV.